Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Jaeger the Viking here, bringing you some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, playing some Team Deathmatch on the map Village. Today, I'm going to be talking about the state of Call of Duty, the future of Call of Duty. Now, I actually did this topic over on another channel for a competition. However, I actually did end up losing that round. I didn't think I did a great job on that video. It was a very rushed video. And, um, you know, I was told it wasn't too bad, but I really felt like I should do it over again, and, uh, that's what I'm doing now. So, you know, there's a lot of talk, a lot of people, um, mainly on YouTube, you don't really hear it too much in, uh, in, you know, in just straight-up Call of Duty lobbies, but a lot of people are talking about how they really want, uh, you know, a game to come take the lead over Call of Duty, become the new big first-person shooter. Not even first-person shooter, but, you know, online multiplayer shooter. And people are saying that they kind of want uh, Call of Duty to collapse to make room for uh, another game, as opposed to what I really want, which would be another game coming, making a better game than Call of Duty. Um, you know, setting a higher standard, giving Call of Duty a little kick in the butt, and once they sense that pressure, I think that, uh, you know, Treyarch or uh, Infinity Ward, whoever had the responsibility for the next game, would come raise that bar again. And that's what I really want. I don't want something to get good and then make Call of Duty tumble, because then we would just end up with that game the same situation as Call of Duty is in right now. And, um, you know, what would be ideal is if we could get a little bit of a battle going between Call of Duty and whichever other game. Now, when I say I wouldn't want Call of Duty to tumble because then another game would end up in the same situation, what really is happening is Call of Duty, because there's no pressure for them to make an incredible game, they can just keep doing what they're doing, and their game grows. Because as long as they're ahead, you know, number one, it's easier to grow when you're number one. You know, once you're up there, you're just going to keep growing and growing and growing. There's no doubt about that. So what needs to happen is another game needs to come, you know, catch up to them. Because at this point, it's really, uh, you know, say someone gets a new Xbox, then they start talking to their friends on Xbox. All their friends are playing Call of Duty. They're going to go out and buy Call of Duty. It's a snowball. Pretty much everybody who, you know, is old enough that... Uh, or just interested in the first-person shooters, plays Call of Duty, you know, owns the newest Call of Duty game, or at least owns one Call of Duty game, and it just seems, you know, it just snowballs because everyone talks about it and then other people want to get it. So there's really no point that Call of Duty is going to collapse. Now, the game that people are talking about, the game that people would really like to see battling with Call of Duty, is, um, well, actually, no information has been released on it yet, but everyone knows it's coming, and that will be the game that Respawn Entertainment releases, and for those of you that don't know, Respawn Entertainment is the original guys of Infinity Ward, the founders, the, uh, you know, the co-founders, who, uh, you know, made the great Call of Duty 4, the legendary Call of Duty 4, that really launched the Call of Duty series, and, uh, you know, everyone's talking that they'll probably make a game possibly even better than the Call of Duty series. And um, I think that game will get a bit of attention, but they actually have not released any information on it. You just know the game's coming because, uh, I mean, they have, like, a website set up. They set up this whole Respawn Entertainment thing, and to not release a game would be kind of ridiculous. So, of course, they're going to release a game. And I'm assuming it would be a first-person shooter. That seems to be the uh, standard consensus at this point. But I just really don't, uh, you know, I just really don't see when that game would be coming out. You know, it'll certainly be over a year, you know, 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. And even then, we don't know that it'll be a great game. I don't think they have the same kind of funding as, you know, the Call of Duty series has at all. So they won't be able to compete just in that aspect. But, you know, hopefully a game can come out that will take over Call of Duty. Not take over, but will pass Call of Duty so that Call of Duty doesn't have this Monopoly type thing they have going on. And, of course, they don't have for, um, shooters monopolized. But, you know, they really just don't have pressure to make a better game. You know, Battlefield 3 is like the second game that comes to mind when you think first-person shooter. And even that is nowhere near where uh, Call of Duty is in terms of sales, in terms of just all the people playing that. And I do feel like the lifespan of Call of Duty is dying out. So what really needs to happen 
is another game needs to give Call of Duty a wake-up call before Call of Duty manages to destroy itself. Because I think at this rate, in a couple years, Call of Duty will just be getting so repetitive that it's actually going to take itself down. Now, that's just my opinion on this. Of course, everyone has their own thoughts. I just like to share mine. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you want to subscribe if you're new. And if you did enjoy this video, if you wouldn't mind taking the time out of your day to leave a like, it would certainly help me out. It helps the channel grow, and it lets me know that people are enjoying my video. Anyway, that's the end for this one. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.